everyone, this is Nike Majakodumi. I am baking from my kitchen today because we are all staying at home. Um, I'm here with my daughter Temilade and my son Adesheni is actually doing the filming. Thank you, Shani. And he's also going to be doing the editing for this. He is 11 years old. So if this video comes out well, it is all credits to him. And our little baby is going to join us later on. She's going to put on her own baking outfits. Okay, so today, welcome to my kitchen at home. It's actually very rare that people see me bake um, because I'm always sort of in the office and I'm running the business, etc. and that's about cakes. But today it's really just, you know, fun, easy baking with the children. Today we're going to be making an easy apple crumble. Now everybody loves an apple crumble, which you can have with ice cream or you can have with custard. My husband loves it with custard, but the kids love ice cream. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing we're going to start with, with is the apples, okay? So I have five apples and we're just gonna make like a small version of uh, an apple crumble. It's not gonna be too big, but we've already um, peeled these. Timilani, can you help me get the ones over there that we've peeled? So it's one of those, here's what I prepared earlier. And it's pretty simple. And can I have the chopping board as well, please? So we'll just cut them up and peel them. And they're very simple like that. And what we're going to do is we are going to um, chop them up. So addition, if you can come closer and you can see the chopping up or you can zoom, I don't know. Okay. So very simple, very easy slices. And one of the reasons why I do it in small bites is so that we don't necessarily have to cook it before we put it in the oven. So if you want more sort of softer apples, then you can cook it a little bit before it goes in the oven. And that just sort of softens it up. And when you're having your apple crumble, your apples underneath are more mushy. I'm sure you've seen the ones that are a bit more mushy and you've seen the ones that are a little bit more you know chewy and you know you've got apples to chew on so what i do to sort of be in the mid range is to just slice them up quite thinly so we don't have to cook it before we bake it great so now we've chopped up all the apples or sliced them up uh thanks to milade i'll have one too mm, yum and what we're going to do is just to put them in a baking pan, straight into a baking pan. And I have not put any sort of butter or anything on that. So it's pretty much just straight in. And then we just sort of flatten them out. And I hope you can see what that looks like over there. And it's just to make sure that the whole of the bottom part is covered. Now, our Nigerian apples are not really as sweet as the golden delicious that you get everywhere else in the world. But if it's quite tart and not sweet, you can just sprinkle a little bit of sugar and a little bit of splash of water on it if you want. But I tend not to do that because the apples are sweet enough. And then now we're going to do the crumble. And then the crumble is pretty much very simple. It's just flour and it's sugar and it's butter and then we're going to get our hands all stuck in okay so now we're working on the crumble for the top and timilade is going to help us to measure 500 grams of flour so go ahead turn on your scale and great so we're just going to measure 500 in there let's keep going you know how to do this you do this many times one of my daughter's favorite things to make is cinnamon rolls. We make cinnamon rolls like every weekend. I'm surprised we're not tired of it. Ah, we've gone over, so you have to take some out. 500. Yeah, this is, oh, sorry, keep going. <laughs> okay. So we're doing quite a bit of crumble, that'll be too much. We're doing quite a bit of crumble because the crumble tends to sink um, when you bake it in the oven because it sort of goes down and gets in between all the apples and things like that So it's very good to do a little bit more and make it full so that once you bake it you still get a nice layer of crumble Okay, so we are on 491 we are on too much uh, Yeah, 
Fantastic. Thank you, Temilade. 500 spot on. Great. So now we have the flour, 500. We don't need to sieve this or anything because we just don't need to sieve it <laughs> because it's for crumble and it doesn't need to be too fine. And then we're going to use half the quantity of the flour, um, 250 grams of uh, butter. Okay, so we've already got the butter out because it's really messy if we don't do it out. So I'm just going to chuck it in there. Boom, all at once. Okay, and then now I am going to get my hands all in there, which are already washed. I'm just going to take out my rings. And we are going to just... You want to do it? Okay. All right. You want to get in there? Come on, let's get in there. Let's get in there together. Let's go. Let's go. So it's pretty much just combining the flour with the butter together to turn it into um, something that is a little bit more grainy than what we have. And remember, we still want bigger clumps, not all very fine, because um, so that we can get that texture on top of our apple crumble. Okay, so you can see what we're doing here. And it looks a right mess, but it is going to taste delicious. <laughs> okay. All right, so I am going to leave Temilade to do the rest of this. <laughs> Okay, so we have um, done the butter and the flour and put them together. Now we also have 250 grams of sugar. Um, you can use brown sugar, which is better, but since we're home, we only have white sugar. So we're going to toss the white sugar in there. So that's actually quite a lot of sugar. And I will do the same and continue to combine the sugar with the butter and the flour mixture. Okay, so... It's pretty much just getting one's hands dirty and really just getting in there. Okay, so that's all it needs. Nothing difficult, nothing complex. And now that we have all that done, we will just put that straight onto our apples. Thank you very much, sweetie. And it's just about crumbling it all and making sure that you get into all those edges because you don't want your edges to sink. You good? Yeah. <laughs> so the okay. apple is the base? So the apple is the base, exactly. So is that all, is that all that's going to be the only? Yeah, that's all. It's one of the simplest desserts, but one of the most delicious desserts, like, it taste like ever. Apple you haven't? Yeah. Are you sure? Maybe one Christmas when we had it done. No? Okay. That was in November. We had it in November last year? Yeah, I think we've done, we've done apple crumble before. Yeah, but I don't think we did. No, yeah. those were scones. Did we, we did scones. Yeah, we've done scones. We've done a whole bunch of different things. Okay, so I am just basically making sure that we get it into the corners. The beauty about crumble is if you have, if you have extra excess crumble, you can just put it in a bag and put it in the freezer. And then the next time you want to make apple crumble again, you've already got them all ready and it makes it so much faster and easier to make. So, Okay, so we are going to pile this crumble on right up high oh, cool. because it's all going to sink anyway. <laughs> Okay. So it's going in the oven. Yep. It's so going to go about 13 minutes. Correct. Did you read my notes? No. <laughs> yeah. So between 20 and 30, about 30 minutes, about 30 minutes should be done. Because we want the apples to get softened and we want the crumble to get so it's kind of brown. Down. Exactly. Okay. So now we've got all the crumble on the pan. Um, we're going to put it into a preheated oven. Now the oven has been preheating for the past um, 10 minutes and it is on 180 degrees. I'm just going to move it down a little bit to 170. Um, so I'm using a convection oven because I'm a baker <laughs> and the difference between a regular home oven and a convection oven is just that the heat can circulate. But you can also use your home oven, of course, because that's how I started baking from my home, my home kitchen, my home oven. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to put this here. On the middle shelf and we will just wait we'll set the timer 
to, I've set the timer to 25 minutes, so I'm going to come and check on it in 25 minutes time. Okay, so now it's been 30 minutes, well actually about 35 minutes because we did play a little and then we wandered off. But I will bring it out of the oven and it's beautiful and golden brown. This is exactly how I love it. There we go. So really, really delicious and like. Okay, so we're going to serve onto our plates over here. Okay, so I'm just going to dig in. Is it very soft? It is lovely and soft. Oh la la, look at that. Nice and yummy. Let's just look in there, nice and hot. Don't touch it, sweetie, it's hot. Oh, we have a little guest who has come to join us. Uh, Omalayo, how are you? Are you wearing your little apron? Yeah. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Mm -hmm. We just made some apple crumble. It's extremely delicious. hot and yummy. Okay, how are you, sweetie? Wow. Also, your doll. You brought your doll as well. Is your doll laughing? Um, <laughs> okay, great. Okay, well, this is our fantastic um, home apple pie, apple crumble recipe that we have made. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, now we're all going to taste and enjoy. Okay, so now we're just going to scoop some lovely vanilla ice cream. And I'll just go on the table and scoop. <laughs> okay, there. And we're just going to put it right there by the side. Voila. And that piece is ready to be eaten. Now, if you don't mind, I want to just taste my little... Mm. Mm. If you don't mind oh, as yum. well. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us in our home kitchen for making apple crumble. We are now going to enjoy. And we hope that you bake this at home as well. And we will see you real soon. Bye.